There's been a lot of media uh, reports suggesting that the findings of the James Webb telescope have undermined the case for the Big Bang or yeah. the Big Bang Theory. Uh, but there's an interesting backstory on this. Most of these media reports were based on the writings of a single uh, physics researcher named Eric Lerner, who's been since 1990 kind of carrying a torch uh, to refute the Big Bang. And um, Lerner, um, in one of his, his articles, qu uh, quoted a University of Kansas astrophysicist uh, saying that she stays up late at night wondering if based on the on the the James Webb that everything that we know is turning out to be false. Turns out that that researcher, uh, that, that astrophysicist, disclaimed his use of the quote, explaining that he took it completely out of context, that she was talking about theories of galaxy formation, not about whether or not there had been a Big Bang, and not about whether or not the universe is expanding as we would expect. So he's confirmation bias. Yeah, confir and and in a sense, also taking somebody way out of context to make a point of his own. You know, he 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 misused the quotation on purpose. Uh, apparently, apparently. Um, so here's here's uh, the, the and there have been a number of leading astrophysicists. In fact, people who would like you know to know more about this, I'd recommend the, uh, what Brian Keating from University of California, San Diego, great astrophysicist, has been writing about this. And but here here's the short story. What the what the James Webb Telescope is able to do is to in fact was what it was constructed to do was to detect extremely long wavelength radiation, stuff that's outside the visible range. I call it uber redshifted. The te it's actually in the infrared range is the more uh, accurate physics uh, term. So it's looking for very long wavelength uh, radiation coming from galaxies that are very, very far out there. Now, why would it be looking for that? Well, because if the universe is expanding as we would expect based on the Big Bang Theory, then the, the radiation coming from things very, very far out in space and therefore very far back in time should be very stretched out, more stretched out than stuff that's closer at hand. Uh, so the James Webb was constructed in hopes of detecting that type of radiation if it existed. It's not assuming that it necessarily would, but it would be a way of confirming the expansion of the universe has been going on for a very long time. And what they were in fact able to detect from these very ancient very distant galaxies, was super redshifted radiation, uber redshifted stuff out in the infrared. And we're able, on the basis of that, to synthesize images of these very, very distant remote galaxies. Now, the very fact that they were able to do that confirms that you have that what you would expect on the basis of the Big Bang Theory, that, you would, that the amount of redshift that you would expect to be present if, in fact, the galaxies had been expanding throughout that vast stretch of time was, in fact, present and was detected. Now, that didn't get reported. There were what the whole focus was on the fact that there were galaxies that were more mature, there were more of them early on than we would have expected based on our theories of galaxy formation. And so those are anomalies that need to be addressed and have not yet been explained, as I understand it. Maybe the astrophysicists have made more progress on that in even recent recent days. But the basic picture of an expanding universe outward from a beginning has not been undermined, but rather confirmed in a very dramatic way at very great distance and with a, and for galaxies that are a, a, a very far look back time, way, way back in time. So I think it's a rather dramatic confirmation. There have been many others, the cosmic background radiation that was discovered in 1965, the COBE radiation of George, that George Smoot discovered in the 90s. So there's been this pattern of confirming evidence of this basic picture of an expanding universe out from the beginning in, in observational astronomy from the 20s right up till now. And so that, I think, gives us good reason to think best we can tell the universe at a beginning. Maybe, maybe the origin of the universe was further back, but it's still, you're still getting this picture of a, of, a, of a collapsing sphere in the reverse direction of time back to a point. But is it possible that with further, further detection, we can, with new data, have a better understanding of what is actually going on rather than just saying it all points to this thing? Because it seems like... There's there's data, but it's what you're what you're describing seems like it's possible at least in the future to have it, better it, detection it, methods. Yeah, it's always possible that we can change our minds on things because science is always provisional. But there are many stable um, 
uh, uh, theories that have persisted because of a preponderance of evidence that points to and continues to point to the same conclusion. And I think we've had a hundred years now where we've had repeated new types of observations that point towards a beginning. 